So what we've got here is we have our Walker Razor XVs. All right. We have our Walker ropes. Okay. Right there. And then we have our ATAX. What's up everybody, Tactical Santa, and today we're gonna to be talking about some Walker's headsets. All right, I kind of have done comparison videos and some review videos on all three of these, uh, which I will have uh, them linked in up at the top of the screen here as this video plays through. Uh, and I'll even have the playlist that they're in at the end of the video. So you can go in if you'd like to see a little bit more in-depth uh, review on these. I'm not going to go too in-depth with this. I just wanted to kind of come back and do a little follow-up video to these because I've had a lot of people asking, you know, hey, what type of headsets are you wearing? You know, I noticed it's not the, you know, I'm not wearing the big over the ear. Uh, that just, they started getting on my nerves. And since Walker's has released such a great line here, uh, I switched over and use these a lot more than what I do the over the ear stuff. Uh, I don't have to double up and I've had, you know, seven, eight people in a rifle class and I've never had to double up with these. If you'd rather double up with some of these, that's fine. Uh, but you, depending on what type of muffs you're using, you will use the amplification that goes with these. So what we've got here is we have our Walker Razor XVs. All right. We have our Walker ropes. Okay. Right there. And then we have our ATAX. Now these, uh, the ATAX don't come with a case. I just grabbed an old little Tupperware that I had to put them in and then kind of have a case for them. So, but they do not come with a case. Uh, each one of these does come with different sizes on the earpieces, depending on you know, how big or small your earlobe is and stuff or ear hole or whatever the hell that thing's called. Uh, but the ropes do come with a very nice little case. Uh, I had an extra one of these. The ATAX do not fit in here. Uh, and then the razors come with a little soft bag. Uh, but again, they all come with replacement earpieces, different sizes to make sure they do fit correctly. Uh, all of these, are Bluetooth, so you can talk on your phone, you can listen to music, then you can go right on onto the range and flip them on and you've got amplified hearing protection in all of them. Now your ATAX and your razors, these can actually be controlled by the app. So yes, there is an app you can download onto your phone to control shut off time, volume and things like that. Uh, these do have uh, different options with the volume. You've got power boost, universal, clear voice, and I've just drawn a blank on power boost, clear voice, or universal. I'm sorry, I don't remember what the fourth one is, um, but we'll make sure to, uh, I'll have a nice little list over here for you so you can see what those four options are that can be controlled with the razors again the the atax you can control with the app um, but the ropes these you cannot control with the app these are controlled right here now for me personally these are the ropes are probably what i use the most these are what I use the most. I do uh, really, really like them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the other two. It's just for me personally, 
I like the ropes the best. That is what I use the most. Those are my go-to. When the battery dies on them, my backups are the Apex, uh, depending on where I'm at, what I'm doing, because I usually leave these in my vehicle. If I don't have my vehicle, but I've got my range bag, then my backup is the Razors. The Razors, I don't mind as much when I'm running pistols, but when I'm running rifles, they're a little bit of a pain, all right, because your retract button so pulls out, all right, and then you have your button right here to retract them back in. This, where I cheek my gun, with sometimes gets bumped, and we'll run these things back down in here, and sometimes it will yank them out of my ear. So... That's my only downside to these right here. The other down, well, I take that back. The other downside is when you're really running and gunning, these things start to turn and twist on your neck. It gets a little annoying. I don't know if you remember the, the LG had some Bluetooth headsets fairly similar to this. This is what these compare to. All right, they had the ones where it pulled out and then you retracted them back in and stuff. The ATAX, all your controls, all right, are right here on the sides of the earpiece. As far as your power button and stuff, your volume controls are on the bottom. For your razors, your Bluetooth controls are on one side. Your amplified hearing protection is on the other side. Now, you don't have to have the app. All right? You can switch by pressing both volume up and down, pressing them together, and it will bounce between the different options of clear voice, universal, power boost, all that stuff. Okay? Um, with these, you're going to do all that from the sides. The ropes don't have it, but Bluetooth controls are on the right side. Amplified hearing protection controls are on the left side. And then your on-off switch is on the left side as well, too. But these have been some really, really... I love Walker products. You know, I'm, and this isn't anything where I'm some type of affiliate or getting paid by them to do this. I spent my own money with these. Okay, so... I've just been a fan of Walker's products. They are really, really good products. I haven't bought the silencers, so I can't speak to those. Uh, if you want to see somebody speak to those, check out uh, Kevin Dixie with No Other Choice. Uh, he has spoken to those. And then you've got the newer ones that look like your AirPods. I haven't tried those out. Um, I'll have my brother. Uh, we'll have him do a video in the uh, upcoming weeks to discuss the newer ones. He's, he uses those. Uh, he seems to really, really like them. Uh, now, those are all mainly controlled by the app on the phone. I don't think there's any controls on the actual headsets. Like I said, I'll have him talk more about that so you get a better understanding of those. But I wanted to just kind of recap some of these because, again, a lot of people have been asking you know, what type of headsets you're wearing and stuff like that. And I've also seen some comments in the original videos of all of these where people were asking how they're doing, how they're holding up. Uh, speaking of that, I have had to do a warranty replacement with these. And just like Walker's has always done before, their customer service has been phenomenal. Uh, it, it was a very easy process. I went through their warranty replacement process and uh, they were on back order, but this was during all the COVID bullshit. Uh, so it did take them a little bit longer to get to me, but I had these to fall back on, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though these are the ones that I really like, I wasn't making a fuss about it because it was just some of the bullshit we were having to deal with with all the COVID crap. But you you won't be disappointed. If you're looking for something to get away from those over the ear and you'd like to be able to have Bluetooth and amplified hearing protection all in one, here you go. Yes, you can use the amplified hearing protection and the Bluetooth at the same time, but depending on the volume of the music, it's going to override what you're, it doesn't lower it or kind of mute it out uh, when you're using the amplified hearing protection. So if you've got the volume too loud with the music, it will override uh, the music or the music will override what somebody is trying to say. So just be mindful of that. 
Uh, they, they've all done very, very well talking on the phone. Uh, I haven't had anybody say that, that I sound like I'm in, uh, you know, down in a hole or they can't hear me or anything like that. So they're very good when you need to talk on the phone as well, too. Uh, go in and grab you some of these. Um, if you want a discount, uh, you can. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, we're gonna give you a little, uh, some homework to do a little scavenger hunt. I know where you can get a discount code for this. You're just gonna have to go through nootherchoice.com and locate that discount code. But he does have a discount code over there uh, that would get you a very nice discount off of some of these headsets. Also, while you're there at nootherchoice.com, check out some of the great gear and stuff that he has to offer. And when you're there, use code SCGS5 and you will get a discount off of anything you buy from nootherchoice.com. Uh, the only thing my discount code does not apply to is his training, uh, but any swag, gear, whatever, on the other side of it, my code will work and you will get a discount. And by doing that, you're also going to help support his Greenwood project, which is a great, great thing that he's trying to do down in Atlanta and be able to give back to the community and stuff. So go check it out. Uh, I'll have his give send go up here in the screen somewhere so you can check it out. If you can donate, donate. If, if you can't, just share. But definitely go over there and check his stuff out. You will find a nice, very nice code, but you're gonna have to, I'm not gonna, you're gonna have to work for that. I'm gonna make you work for that one because it's a pretty good discount. It's not that much work. Just go to his website and do a little bit of research and you'll find it. And again, check out the Greenwood Project, grab some gear and some swag from him. He's got some great t-shirts, hats, beanies, pullovers. He's got anything and everything you need for your firearm as well, too. And who knows, you might find some better uh, hearing options over there. But definitely give him a check out. Please continue to support. Uh, it's greatly, greatly appreciated all the support I get, the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribers, the followers. It's all greatly, greatly appreciated. Please feel free to check out my Give Send Go. I'll have it up here in the screen so we can help grow the business, help grow the range. Because like I've said in other videos, I want the people that are wanting to really support, support and be my investors. I don't want to have to go out and get investors that don't want to or don't understand or don't fully understand or don't fully know what exactly we're trying to do. I want everybody out there to be my investors. If anything, just give it a share. That's all I can ask. Uh, please continue to support. That's all I can ask as well, too. Please go check these out if you've got questions. Down in the comments, hit me up with your questions or comments or concerns. I'll be glad to discuss, answer any questions as soon as I can. If I don't get to it right away, just bear with me. I do my best to reply to everybody. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.